Hi Levi! Hi Seth and Jess and Sean. I hope you guys are well. Um, so I've got some um, new ideas for this week. I thought I would introduce. Some of it's going to be the same so that's great and then you can just continue on for this next week. Um, we'll keep kind of doing this for a little bit and then I'll give you maybe a couple more ideas to work with. Okay? So Levi, let's just get started. Let's count from one to 20 together. Are you ready? Actually, let's start at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Good job. Let's count backwards from ten now. Are you ready? Pull up your fingers if you need to. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Great job. I'm sure that you're doing really well with that. Okay, let's practice recognizing our numbers from zero to 20. Are you ready? Nine, you're right. Eleven. Good job. Oops. Here we go. What's this number? Ten. You got it. Here's an easy one. Three. Good job. Four, you're right. Eight. All right, here's a tricky one. A 10 and a nine. Did you say 19? Good job. Two. Seven. Drop one down here. I gotta get it. A ten and a six. Did you say sixteen? You're right. One. A ten and a seven. Seventeen. You're right. Good job. Five. Eighteen. Good job. What's this number? A two. Two tens and zero ones. Did you say the number 20? Good job. A few more, are you ready? Fourteen. Twelve. The number six. Thirteen. And last one, are you ready? Fifteen. You're right. Good job, Levi. Keep practicing those numbers. All right. 
So um, let's jump right to the addition. I've kind of incorporated the one, um, the two more than and the one less than into the addition um, and the subtraction questions. And then I'll show you a few new things that you can do together, okay? So are you ready, Levi? I'm gonna hold up some um, questions for you and you're going to do them. You can use your fingers, you can use um, just little manipulatives, whatever you have, or um, you can use the uh, 10 frame as well, okay? So we'll continue with, with that. Are you ready? Let's do the few together and then you can practice on your own. All right, here we go. What does that question say? What's this number? What's this symbol? And what's this number? So practicing saying it, one plus two, or one plus two more, okay? All right, so let's do this one with the 10 frame. One, let me make sure that I get some. One, and two more. One, two, and now let's count them all together. One, two, three. Good job. All right, let's do one more together. We'll do it differently this time. So what does this say? Two plus two. Good job. Or two and two more. Okay? So let's do that one together again. Um, this time I'm going to use my um, blocks. So I can get, it's not a very good shot, is it? Let's just use this. Um, okay, so again, Levi could count out of a larger pile um, what he needs for that addition question. And again, you can use any kind of like manipulatives that you might have. Um, okay, so we have, the question was, do you remember? Two plus two. So I have, and if you wanted, if you could differentiate by color, you could do that too. So I'm going to do that. So I have two black ones, and I'm going to add two red ones. Okay, so one, two, three, four. You got it. Good job. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to give you... Um, two more questions like that, Levi, and you're going to do it on your own now. Are you ready? What's this say? What is this question asking? Three plus two. Good job. What is three plus two more, Levi? So you go ahead and you do it. Okay, and then here's another one. Four plus two more. So four plus two. Okay? All right, let's um, do the subtraction now. So um, it's going to be one less than, right? So let's do this first one. Five take away one, or one less than five. So I'm going to show you, we're going to use the, um, I'm going to just try and do it this way so you can see my blocks. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Okay, so I have a larger pile and I'm going to count five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put these away. I have five blocks here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I can use the 10 frame too to put those in. And then I'm going to take away one. I'm going to take one away. So how many do I have left? One, two, three, four. You can see those. Okay? All right. 
Here's another one for you, Levi. Are you ready? It's lots of learning. Okay, what does this say? What's this number? Remember, this is our takeaway sign or subtract. And this number, one. Four, take away one. So you go ahead and you do that in any way that you can. Okay, did you get three, Levi? Four, take away one is three. It's like counting backwards. Let's try a few more. Three, take away one. Levi, did you get two? Good job. Last one, here we go. Two, take away one. Did you say one? Great job. Okay, so keep practicing those numbers. You can, I think that you would be able to go up to 10. So if he gets those um, and he shows that he can do those um, quite easily, then you can kind of start to move to higher numbers. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things, maybe a few different games that you can do together as well. Change things up a little bit. So I have made a um, kind of like a little template here. And um, we'll start with this. And then in the weeks to follow, I'm going to kind of add to this a little bit um, using different numbers. So there's a few, um, you can see I've divided into three sections. Uh, build it, write it, count it. Okay, and it can be anything. So what I'm going to do with this is I could even, I, there's different ways that you could do it. You could give him a number. So for example, you would give the number three. You would show, or you would say three, um, and then he would have to build it. So I have Lego pieces here that I'm going to use. It's kind of hard for you to see, but okay. So I'm going to build it with my Lego pieces. My secret number is, Let's say, right here. Okay, let's say it was the number four. So you could give him a number like four. And then, Levi, I have um, Lego pieces here. I don't know if you've ever seen these pink Lego pieces. Um, but I'm going to use those to build it. So out of a pile of Lego pieces, if my number was four, um, I would build it with the Lego. Three three, sorry, and four. And um, you could even get him to build it up like that. And then it says write it so I would have him, you could even use a sticky note so that you can reuse this template over and over and just have him write it on a sticky. So the number four, what does the number four look like? number four and then count it again you could have a pile of different counters um, other than the ones that you have here and you would count one two three four okay so you can do that the other way that you could do that is if I used a dice where are my dice Add them here somewhere Let's use this one Okay, and you could have him roll the dice. So now he's subitizing that number. What number is that? Okay, the number five. And then you could have him, um, again, build it, write the number, and then count it out. Okay, so that's one great little activity. The other thing that you could use is you could have a deck of cards. So, um, basically one to 10, so the ace being the one, and then counting up, and he could pick from that pile and start, okay, so that would be an ace, so an ace is representative of the number one, 
This has one heart. Um, and you could have him, again, build it, write it, count it out. So that's another way of doing it, okay? I have one more little activity to show you, um, which incorporates the, the 10 frame. So the same idea with the 10 frame, the deck of cards and the manipulatives to start to get him um, recognizing numbers that make up 10, right? Is, which is what we're doing here. So just another way that we could do that is, again, he could pick out of this deck of cards. Um, so let's say, for example, he picked it up. We've already done that one. Oh, and I picked the number six. Okay, so then I would um, put six in my um, egg carton. Five, six. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and then how many more do I need to get to ten? One, two, three, four. Okay, so, and then he would go back to his deck of cards after picking up the six, oops, wrong one, six, and have to find that four and get him to fill in that with four. And again, if you have um, like all the same colors up to a certain point, that would be helpful. You could use Lego pieces that would be simple or any kind of cubes or anything like that that um, you might have, okay? Um, so getting him to recognize numbers that add up to 10. We want to kind of start manipulating, recognizing um, all the different kind of ways to represent numbers. Um, so I hope you have fun with that. I heard that you guys were at the cottage. That's so great. I hope that you're having a lovely time out there. It's beautiful and enjoying this weather. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.